Well, good morning, everybody. Today is Sunday, August 4th, 2024, um, and they got the sprinklers running, so I wanted to give you guys an update on that. Just kidding. They probably won't need those sprinklers running, though, because we are about to get hit by Tropical Storm Debbie. Just south of us, we're actually looking north, so this has nothing to do with the storm, but everything behind us is coming up this way. And I don't think we're going to get too much weather, but we should just have a lot of rain today. But I just wanted to give you guys a little update. It hasn't rained yet, but we're waiting on Tropical Storm Debbie. So here's what the radar looks like right now. You can see the storm is right around here, maybe a little bit further north of that. But this blue dot right here is where I'm at. And you can see the weather getting ready to come in. But again, like I said, I'm looking north, so you can't see that stuff. But the weather is coming. You can start to see it's getting a little darker over there. This is looking due west, um, and that dark those dark clouds are moving north, north and west-ish with the flow of the storm. But uh, we're getting ready to go through the first band here in a few minutes. First raindrop. Well, it's kind of been drizzling, but the first big raindrops are rolling in. Storm's getting close. Watching the WFLA live stream or waiting for it to start. It's getting uh, pretty gross out now. northwest at 40 miles per hour so if you are in this path and you are watching south tampa davis island we've got a pretty strong cell on the way as well good news is i'm not seeing any rotation whatsoever uh temple terrace up to loops looks like things are a little bit quieter now compared to just a few minutes ago same thing carolwood six inch park area for five six inches of rain and this rain is coming between sunday and monday so again, I, I've seen pretty busy rainy season days that will equate to about this month. About 15 or 20 minutes. So this morning, uh, again, it's set to expire to the next minute or so. But I really think that another one will be hit to the south of Arcadia. All right, that was the first band. Let me lower this. That was the first band. You can actually see the towering thunderstorms uh, moving away. It's actually really cool. Um, so yeah, that was the first first uh, outer band moving through. But again, it would be a weak one, uh, crossing 17 almost right now. And it looks like the northern storm is uh, kind of picking back up. Uh, it All right, it's been a few hours. You can see the camera starting to fog up now, but I'm gonna get back in the car because we got another rain band coming through. And back here in the Stream Center, JB here with you live, folks. Uh, hope everybody's doing well out there. That was the expiration of a tornado. Uh, two of the best meteorologists in Florida. I'm a little biased, yeah, but they really are uh, that phenomenal as far as tag team weather. Uh, let's show you a, a look at Max Federate radar and my goodness activity here on the dirty side of this one. You want to know why they call it the dirt the dirty side? Because it, it's a mess. Uh, you, you're looking
gusts in that 40, 45 mile per hour range. That's going to continue to be possible along our coastline as well. Not getting any updates from the National Hurricane Center or the National uh, the National Weather Service on this particular warning, but we'll zoom back in. Looks like it will affect Marco. was in effect for Southern Polk County, hasn't been allowed to expire at this time. If another warning is issued, of course, we'll pop back on here for now. We'll be able to send it back to regular right program. And back here with everybody live on WFLA.com. Look, there's no way of knowing if it's a trend or not um, until we have years of data. If this were to happen for decades, um, because I believe you must be just given the band that's moving across your area right now. You can send in things to wfla.com slash reported. You can also comment in our comment section here, or as it comes in before. Having it up when it actually corrects, I mean, if that's possible. Well, I was thinking that too, but it will also correct on Wobble Park. Oh, yes, that's true. Ah, that's true. Yes, that's we won't right. see the phone, but we'll see the next five to ten minutes. Should we stay up on Wobble Tracker, or Amanda, do you want another graphic that you want to bring up so that we can see any significance? Oh, but I can. Uh huh. Oh, that's actually a good idea. Pulling it up directly from. Uh... Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let me find it. Yeah. In the meantime, I'd like to remind our audience what we're going to do here too. surprised they didn't move it just slightly east at least. Um, unless they expect it to wobble back, but that doesn't look like it's wobbling back. But then again, you know, it may... The winds are still 65 miles an hour, but the storm is completely. All right, so let's show you the forecast track from the National Hurricane Center here. And you can see uh, it's still located basically directly to the front. Um, of course, we've got South Carolina. We're just going to see a lot of heavy wind. Parts of North Carolina as well. And one of them probably three years since they've been seen. They seem to be basically that... directly northeast. Okay, so we have a tornado warning okay. just came in. Yeah. Um, I believe that we're going to get ready now to go live on CW. Thanks. Uh, okay. Can you help me on? You're going to drive? I'm just going to put this in the next one. Amanda, if you are here all morning, there's multiple tornadoes.
right, so as you just saw, uh, I got WFLA's live stream going on right now. Uh, that was the third band that just came through, and it was definitely the strongest one we've had so far um, with some gusty winds and some heavy rain. But it seems like, sorry about the windshield, or the, the, the window, but... Um, yeah, that's kind of what's going on. The, the, this uh, last, this third band has just come through, so I think we got another one coming in in like an hour or so. Um, so I'll keep you guys updated. And he's just checking in on the latest with the system. Uh, not much change. I did think we'd see a little bit of weakening, especially if it started as a water shock. It seems a little broader than it was, but we still have a much stronger situation. The one that was a much more pretty much anticipated. Our live stream and have been unable to do so. Now is the time I'm going to ask Rebecca to keep her uh, responses as short and concise as possible in the spirit of getting to it. Uh, I don't think I've shown you the radar in a couple of hours, maybe. Um, so this one's gave you an update. The blue dot is where I'm at. You can see the eye is not where the forecast path showed it to be. So that's very interesting. We'll see how close it actually gets. But that's what the radar looks like right now. And uh, real world, you got a little bit of a gust there. Um, yeah, some of the bands coming through. It's pretty cool.
could be talked about all day. Yeah, I mean, you're going to get a few inches of rain. Uh, Ocala, I don't think the winds would be particularly strong in Ocala. This is just a 65 miles an hour. Uh, but that's it. south side of Spring Hill right now and it looks like the further north I go it looks like I'm going to drive into one of these uh, outer bands but um, yeah last night was very interesting got very windy um, a lot of rain there's a lot of flooding um, and now it is the next day and it's still raining so that's kind of where we're at right now
else is it went under a warning or something like that. This has a uh, little. As it stands, officially, Debbie's supposed to get back out over the water for a day or so and then come inland between Georgetown and Myrtle Beach.